So, the dream started out with me in the classroom, and Jesus was the teacher. And there were other people in the classroom. And um, Jesus then started to tell a story, um, as he would say, a parable. Um, and we could actually see it. It was a, something that happened in the past, um, and he was giving an example of what he was about to say. I'm so sorry, y'all. I feel so bad that I can't remember exactly what he was saying in the story. But I do remember his message, and I do remember what he said he dislikes the most. Um, he said that he dislikes when people take a message that he told them to go and tell and charge people money for it. He said that the Holy Spirit provides information, not that person, and that they cannot charge a dollar or anything from anybody for the knowledge that they give, that they give to people because it's not theirs. Um, he also gave another example for me. Um, this is someone personal to me, someone that I grew up with. And um, he called this person name and said, People are not to be like this person. Um, and I'm going to, to give you a little information about that person just to let you understand what he could be talking about. Um, first of all, very outgoing person. Um, very loving person. Um, but uh, she's done some things. Um, just to give you like one of the examples, um, she has children and she uses them to go to churches to get money for like bills and stuff she says she needs. Um, and she goes to different churches like during her day. That's her hustle to scam the churches. Um, she also, one time she told me that she set out, she pulled up, she needed some gas. Well, she had gas, but she turned off her car and sat on the side of her road, on the road with her two children and told everybody she was running out of gas so that they could give her money to get gas. And this was our hustle. Um, From what I got from what Jesus was saying, he despised that type of person that used people, um, innocent people, and don't care. Um, when I fell asleep, I was listening to Perry Stone. Um, I do believe Perry Stone is a wonderful teacher. <clears throat> Matter of fact, he's one of the ones that make you think about stuff that you'd be like, wow. And um, so I went to sleep listening to Paris song. He was talking about um, um, prophecies that's going around on the internet. And I didn't hear none of the what he was saying, but I automatically went into this dream where Jesus was inside the classroom. Um, now, I know that teachers like Perry Stone charge for information. Don't think that I'm saying don't listen to these people because that they do have the gift of the Holy Spirit, especially if the Lord is giving them information. But what I am saying is, is be wise about who you listen to. Um, he's still my brother no matter what because he professed Christ as Lord and we believe the same things, but... In, in that type of situation, his punishment would be, you know, in his rewards that he get for telling people about Christ doing his work here. And, you know, that's what it is. I, I'm not going to say to you or nobody else that he's a false prophet or he's wrong. No, no. I'm just telling you what Jesus said he did not like. And that was 
to collect things for information, collect money, collect things from people to tell them the truth that he provided to that messenger. That's what he said he disliked most. God bless you guys. Um, Y'all, we just, the whole thing about it is we got to make sure we stay in Jesus' good grace so he can have mercy on us and even consider us for salvation. Um, you know, humility is the key. We got to humble ourselves. We got to humble ourselves in everything we do um, to let the Lord know that I'm not greater than you. You you are boss and I'm ready to listen. You know, it's time to follow your needs and let the Lord know that you give in. You know, and that's what the whole thing about um, following Christ is about. God bless you guys. Thank you for listening to me. And um, I hope somebody can use what I said. If you have those type of qualities um, to where you find yourself manipulating people and enjoying it to get to gain something, you know, um, it's time to let that go. Let that go. Depend on the Lord for anything. If he can feed the birds and the animals, he can feed you. He can take care of you. You don't need to con anybody for anything. God bless you.